Okay, y'all. Let's talk about German chocolate cake. Now, um, this recipe, and I looked and looked at recipes because I wanted to make the very best one. So this recipe is from Preppy Kitchen, and um, I might have mentioned this to y'all before. It calls for a cup and a half of strong coffee. Y'all, I can't even tell you how many years ago it's been since I've owned a coffee maker. You know I don't drink that real stuff. It's lethal. But um, at the clubhouse, every Friday, they have um, coffee and donuts. So I called Azalea and asked her if on Friday I could snatch a cup and a half of coffee from her. And she said, sure. She better. I've made that girl a lot of sweet stuff. So anyway, Friday is the German chocolate cake day. Now, it is totally from scratch. I still have to pick up my pecans, and I'm going to do that while I've got Mr. Terry in the car. That's where we're going. Um, to keep Hazel a little bit company or Mariah and so um, I may make it on Friday and then do the frosting on Saturday y'all this is one of the most decadent looking cakes I've ever seen John on Preppy Kitchen doubled the frosting recipe. That's how awesome it is. Now I could leave, I could eat German chocolate frosting and I'm gonna say right out of the can because for so long, you know, you just bake a chocolate fudgy cake, you buy a, a container of the coconut pecan frosting, but I do remember that one time I was craving sugar. Well, that's pretty much all the time. Not as bad as it used to be. Lynn, there goes a rolling truck of happiness or whatever that's called. A Coke truck. Anyway, um, so uh, <clears throat> I had a can of that frosting in the cabinet. Now, my kids had been guilty of getting a can of frosting, and they would eat about three-quarters of it. Then they would put the lid back on it, stick it back in the cabinet. <laughs> oh, I know a couple of times I got so hot with my kids. Because when you see that can up there, you think you have that can of frosting. And then you make your cake, blah, blah, blah. You reach for the frosting. It's empty. You know kids will do about anything. But anyway, I ate about half a can of that frosting out of the can. Now, I must say in my defense... I put the other half in the refrigerator. Okay. I'm going to have to call Mr. Terry and let him know I'm here. And um, we'll talk about this cake later. Bye, y'all.